This is Nine News Now. Superstar Redskins quarterback RG3 may own this town, but out of uniform on the corner, could plain old Robert Griffin get a cab? Yeah, believe it or not, black people are still having trouble getting picked up by taxis here in Washington. And Nine News went undercover, only to find the problem is a lot more common than most of us would want to believe. One cabbie even admits on camera he didn't pick up a guy because of the color of his skin. Investigative reporter Russ Potosik joins us now with the story we thought we wouldn't have to tell anymore. Russ? Well, many of you tweeted me stories of taxis refusing service to black, stories one would hope we wouldn't be able to prove true on our hidden camera, but we did. What's up, man? Out of all the cabs we tested, 1531. Malcolm X Elementary School. Malcolm X Rex. All over DC. 1351. Thanks, man. The majority agreed Thanks. to take the black passenger where he wanted to go. His destination? The Malcolm X Elementary and Rec Center, where neighbors say cabs seldom come. When I said I'm going to 1370 Congress Street Southeast, and they said I'm not going that way. I, I can't get a ride up here. I can't get a ride from here to another area. It's very hard. It's at Savannah and Congress in Southeast. We tested 40 cabs. The question is, would they take a black man to the destination he requested? This taxi driver would not. Watch carefully as this cab goes right past our black staffer. Going to uh, Malcolm X Rec Center in Southeast. And stops to pick up the white passenger 100 feet away. You see that guy back there? Who is in some cases, cabbies not only refused our black passenger, turned down our white decoys request, but they refused me too. Hi. Wait, aren't, don't you have to take me anywhere that I'm going? Actually, I'm, I'm with worried. Channel 9. I'm, I'm worried. Where are you going? Our black employee was stranded most often. No service from six cabbies out of 40 tested, while our white passenger was refused by three. Only this cabbie specifically acknowledged his decision had anything to do with race. Going to Alabama Avenue? Listen. Yeah, I'm not going there. Did he just lock his doors? Hi. But just down the street, he sees our white staffer asking to go to the very same location. I'm going to Malcolm X Elementary in Southeast. Hi, so I'm curious, why wouldn't you pick up the black guy? Sir, he didn't want. I went to Southeast, they didn't pay me. You're telling me the black guy didn't pay you? No, I took a, a brother to the same address he gave me. Then why'd you pick up the white guy? He's, I didn't know he's white. You didn't know this guy is white. Did you know the guy you refused to take was black? No, I, I, That's injustice, that's wrong. Oh my God. This woman lives in the neighborhood where that driver refused to go. I saw you call it. Good job. Good job, my friend. I saw you call about it. Good job. Good job it for you, man. Happen. It shouldn't happen. It's not a new problem in Washington. A 1995 Nine News investigation found even Taxi Commissioner Karen Herbert couldn't get a cab. Now he saw me. Why? Where's your off, where, where's your off duty sign? This month, 34 of the 40 cabs tested agreed to take us to Southeast. We've had some cabs tell us no. Are you afraid to go there? Say, say that again? Are you afraid to go to that neighborhood? Is it no. a neighborhood you're afraid to go of? But you're, doing, you're offering to do the right thing to take him. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. DC law allows taxis to refuse service if they fear injury, but prohibits that decision being made because of race. Are you scared to go to that location? No, I'll go anywhere. Then why didn't you pick up that guy? You're just telling me you had a bad day? His boss at Rightway Cab says there have been murders and assaults, and some cabbies do fear for their lives, but they instruct them never to discriminate and that that driver may lose his job. The owner of Premium Cab says he refers complaints directly to the taxi commissioner. The other four cab companies didn't respond to us at all. Now. The taxi commissioner, after those vid videos started circulating on the web today, contacted us, saying he is determined to end this, promising fines up to $450 a pop. He says he's reliant on passengers to complain mm. because they just don't have the resources to do what we did. He says if customers complain, mm. they'll follow through. I'll say like the other customer, good job, Russ. Thank you, sir. Thank you.